All right, today is very interesting. I'm doing something I've never done before, which is uh, reviewing uh, wallets. So I got a lot of wallets here, as you can see. Um, the reason I want to talk about wallet is because uh, I like to collect them and I use it on a daily basis. And I feel like it's important to talk about um, all the key reason why we choose one wallet versus another. And when you purchase um, your own wallet, uh, what kind of uh, top criteria you should consider before you spend your money to it. So here you go. Let's get started All right on the very first uh, I label everything uh, We have the uh, Midori Midori passport notebook uh, People use it uh, for different reason with uh, they have a uh, little notebooks in there. You can uh, uh, Use it as a wallet you can put a passport in it, so very useful. Uh, I'm going to talk about it. And we have the Distill um, Union, which is a, a money clip kind of wallet. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, Stock and Barrel, which is a new brand I find. Uh, I'm using it as my current wallet nowadays. Um, it's a vertical bifold. So this one is nice in natural color. And I find this thing in uh, Axie. 1202 Supply Company, I'll talk about this one. iPods is a very popular um, cell phone plus wallet case. If you have a Note 8, Galaxy Note 8 like I do, you probably know what this one is, iPods. You can get it in uh, in Amazon. And then the Norman Khan, which is my favorite wallet, is a wallet with the uh, field note in it. So definitely talk about it. And last but not least, my uh, my big notebook, which can also be used, cover my name, uh, which can also be used like a uh, with credit card and paper money, paper bills, and use as a wallet. So you can use this too if you choose to, but I don't. Okay, all right. So let's get started. I write down all the criteria on uh, how to choose a wallet here. Okay, number one. Be able to fit most essential number of cards and cash with room for a few more just in case. Okay, so why is it so important to uh, make sure you have enough room? Because you don't want it to be too tight. Let's say you bring, in my case, I have four major credit cards. I have my company credit card with a uh, Visa Master and my own uh, American Express. So four credit cards and some money bill and I don't put coins in, in my wallet so four card with some money pay, uh, paper bills plus sometimes I put my triple A and also my uh, my uh, insurance card so when that happens I want to make sure that it can house six or seven card uh, without really uh, stretching the, the capacity of the wallet so the Midori is perfect um, I find this Insert in uh, Axie is a felt insert, and I can put easily put four card here, and then put uh, additional cards here. I can put like seven or eight, no problem. And then I put my money bills here, and then uh, if I want, I can have a um, Midori insert for notes. I think I have under it here. Okay. One of this insert and you can use it as a notebook just put it right in the middle boom now you have a notebook and a wallet it's really perfect i've been using it for over one and a half years uh but you know me i like to try something new so i change it up a bit but this is a perfect wallet for uh for your use so be able to fit all the essential card number of cards and have room to to, to spare so Midori definitely passed in that category. Um, the Steel Union uh, passed also. I can put six cards in here with the money to it in the middle. That's perfect. Let me make sure it's working. Okay, it's working. Okay, uh, that's fine. Uh, my stock and barrel vertical card uh, wallet is perfect. One, two, three, and four, six, and the money bill. I can do that. This one is a fail. <laughs> That's, it's very cheap. I just buy it for the sake of, you know, it looks kind of cool. But it's really not that useful because the, the letter 
it's very hard and I don't feel like it's comfortable on hand. Uh, I don't have an answer for it, uh, but I don't feel like using it as a wallet. I'll tell you why later. Okay, and then the um, eye pulse um, smartphone wallet. One, two, three, four, maybe five cards if you're pushing it. And with the phone, it's become really bulky, so I, I don't like it. That's why I stopped using it. Uh, Norman Khan, no problem. Four card here. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight card with money bill. And no fault. This is one of the best wallet I ever purchased. So Norman Khan definitely pass. Number two, uh, slim profile. I like my wallet to maintain a slim profile. Midori, uh, if you put a notebook and a bunch of card and bills in it, it get chunky. So this one, not so slim. This little union is slim, it's good, but uh, it has its own problem. I'll tell you later. Um, stock and barrel, slim. The leather is pretty thin. You may like it, you may not like it, but it's, it's slim. Uh, this one is slim, definitely, but I don't use it as a wallet. I just put, put here for reference for people who would like to use it as a, a, a notebook also. Uh, definitely not slim. This one, once you have four cards in it, you can hardly close the, the, the magnet closure here. Uh, Norman Khan, uh, I would say medium, not extremely slim, but totally uh, doable. I would say it's slim enough, you know, I like it. Okay, uh, number three, nice stitching. I like my wallet to be like prefer hand stitch. Um, Midori, no stitching really. Really cheap wallet, $35. Um, but no st stitching required, which is pros and cons, right? No stitching means it's not going to break uh, at, the, um, at the same time. It's not as elegant as the other, so no stitching for this one. All right. Okay. And then for the, the Steel Union, uh, stitching is okay, but I can tell this is a, a mass production assembly line product. It's not really handmade, uh, it's not really like a handcraft by a craftsman, so I I don't think it passed. Uh, stock and barrel, done by one guy. Stitching is nice. It certainly passed. No stitching for this one. Uh, this one is cheaply made. Uh, stitching is still holding up, but you can see some of the uh, stitches is coming off already. One, two, yeah. Don't think this one will last. Three right there. All right, Norman Khan, the best out there. So <laughs> if you have money, definitely buy one of these. I highly recommend it. Uh, Situation is perfect, perfect. Been using it all this time. Absolutely no problem. Beautifully done. Okay, so definitely stitching is awesome. Number four. Uh, you want to make sure that the, the wallet will secure your credit card. So when you're traveling around, you're not going to drop it. Okay. Pass. Pass. N-A. Not applicable. Pass. Pass. Fail. <laughs> and this is the reason why I don't, I cannot recommend a distilled union to, to other people. Um, once you put about six cards in the slot right here, after a while, it will stretch out and it will not be tight again. Uh, so when you put less cards, say you put four or two or three, it's going to slide out. So this design has is, has a flaw in this one. So I cannot recommend this to you. I, I, I drop card uh, after I like purchase stuff and uh, when I put my credit card back, I mistakenly just turn it upside down, card sorting out. So totally not make me feel comfortable. So this one fail. The rest, okay. Okay, so this one, I'm not, I cannot recommend this still union for you. Okay, and then uh, number five. Uh, no corn pocket preferred. I don't want my uh, my wallet with a, with a uh, corn pocket inside because once you get that thing, the whole wallet will get very bulky and thick really fast. So definitely I don't prefer that. If you really carry a lot of coins for whatever reason, uh, I'd rather you buy a separate uh, coin letter case or whatever just to put coins. 
I want to keep it elegant, slim, um, and and not bulky. So definitely no no comp pocket for the wallet I choose. Um, number six, phone case plus wallet, all in one, not eco perfect. So I'm talking specifically about this case. At the beginning, I really want everything consolidated into one case with my phone, my credit card, my bills, everything. Sounds like a good idea, but in reality, it's a pain in butt because when I'm using my phone, I'm watching video in a car. I put a magnetic plate on the back. This thing is hanging around. It's always trying to close, trying to stay up. It's just flapping around. It's not fun. When I'm using it as a wallet, I just want to put it in the back of my pocket and it's I, I can't because I, I, don't, I don't want to ban my phone or anything. So it, 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 it's like one of those all-in-one printer with with scanner and, and all that stuff. One thing, one if one thing breaks, the whole thing become kind of imperfect, right? I don't want that. If some if a water part break, am I gonna keep using it as a, a phone case? If the phone case break, am I keep using it as a water? So it becomes very, you know, confusing to me. So I rather have it separate, and what I rather have it separate, and each item can do a really perfect job. But combining it, suddenly all the pros and cons comes together in one plate. So I, I don't like it. So I highly not recommend it. Have a uh, let me fix it. Highly not recommending having it both together. Okay, so that's my experience, my preference. All right, number seven. Uh, make sure you pick some wallet with letter of known origin. Uh, no idea where the letter is coming from. It feels like vegetable tan, but I have no idea where it's coming from. It's still not nice, but inside it's kind of rough, and and I don't know. This one, I have no idea where the letter is coming from. No idea. No idea. Not even a full grain letter. This one, I know. This one, I know. And that's it. This is a Wicked and Grey, uh, full grain. This is a Holland letter, Holland uh, Dublin. So Wicked and Grey is good. I love it. Uh, it, it looks kind of aged, a little bit discoloring now. But because it's natural color, it will look better over time. But the problem with this uh, is that the leather is slightly too thin. So the, so the bottom and the top part here, if you put in your wallet back and forth many times, it's going to get wrinkled really fast. Okay, so that's the, 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 the thing about this leather. It's looking good, but it's too thin, I think. Uh, Norman Khan and with his horn leather, super duper thin enough thickness here to keep it from wrinkle up really bad um, so I highly recommend this uh, Norman Khan leather Horan looks really nice I think this water uh, I have it over about a year and it still looks beautifully aging really well it will darken over time and it will look even better over time and it smells really good so Horan leather is mm, my choice I think this is a uh, four arms this is Maybe two to three, I don't know, but it's, I can feel this is uh, slimmer, but this is more s substantial. Okay, that's number seven. Number eight. All right, let me see. Okay, still working, good. Number eight, uh, vegetable tan leather prefer. I do not like chrome tan. If you know, if you, if you watch my channel, you know I hate chrome tan, and a particular company that claim to have the best leather, uh, AKA Saddleback, but they don't have. Uh, I do not buy chrome tan anything, so I believe full green leather, vegetable tan is the only way to go. It will look better over time, and it will age well, smell good, and uh, patina will show up over time nicely. Chrome tan is just breaking apart over time. If you have any question about chrome tan versus um, vegetable tan, definitely look into uh, James Crane uh, video, one of his videos describe uh, what exactly this is. Okay, good. Number nine, price point. Uh, all this wallet is uh, from different price point. My cheapest wallet I bought in uh, Denmark for four, Den uh, Denmark, uh, for four US dollar. Um, my most expensive is Shao Kondorvin. I haven't received it yet, but that one is $470. So, so I bought it from $4 all the way to $470. Um, 
surprisingly that four dollar wallet lasts me over f four years um so uh so sometimes price point not necessarily directly correlate to quality you know really cheap thing can be good too but it's not going to be perfect right so it's a diminish diminishing return really the more money you spend the less you get in return but to, to be honest with you, you, know, you only live once, just buy the best that you can. So pick the price point and then choose your wallet accordingly. You can spend up to $1,000 for really fancy wallet, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, number 10. Uh, buy from respectable uh, letter maker. Uh, Norman Khan, I totally recommend him. This is uh, my number one choice if I have to buy another wallet for, like for... A, uh, a gift for my wife or uh, some something to replace with uh, I, I totally love Norman Khan and his wallet he's a one-man shop with uh, hand stitch everything and beautiful leather and it's expensive it's not cheap you know it's like between 150 200 dollars but you're really getting a wonderful piece of uh, leather good here so highly recommend Norman Khan check him out you can find him in Axie Number 11, thickness of leather. I already talked about it. Um, the, everything is kind of decent with my stock and barrel wallet, except the thickness of the leather. It's too thin and I just don't feel premium, to be honest with you. I don't feel premium with this wallet. It serves a purpose, but I don't like the fact that when I fill my wallet up, it kind of moves around like that because the leather is too thin. Structurally, this two position is not very, uh, it's not very uh, solid. So as a result, you have this, you know, movement here. Good wallets should not have that. So it's it's not expensive. This thing is like fifty two dollar, but I just don't like it. You know, it's not about money. It's about what I feel about it. The reason I buy, it, I want to buy a natural color wallet, so I'll just treat treat it like dirt and see how it age. I'm doing an experience on it. I'm I'm taking a picture of this wallet every week just to see how the color change. So for me, this is more like an experience uh, piece right here. The one wallet I use and I treat like a treasure is my Norman Khan. Age good, nice and beautiful and there's not much really movement to the point where I feel like it's not stable. This thing, you can see a lot of wrinkles there, but here, no wrinkle. You know, you don't feel like the leather is getting loose to the point where it's gonna move around. No wrinkle here, beautiful. Yep. If I have to invest my money to buy, definitely I'll you know, buy this again. This one may be my my second choice. Uh, Midori. Definitely number three here because it's cheap, it's reliable. Um, you can put a lot of stuff in it, you can get rid of stuff so it's slimmer, so very flexible wallet. If if money is a concern, $35, you can't really go wrong with this. And it aged pretty really nicely. Number four, I'll get rid of this, it's just ugly. I, I don't like the leather, it's too hardened, there's no internal compartment, I, I don't like it. So. This one is a no-go, and I will not choose this one again simply because I don't like the all-in-one design. And I will not choose this one because I don't feel comfortable uh, putting my credit card in this one. I feel like it's going to drop any moment. So I'm not going to choose this one. All these three no-go. And I will uh, choose one, two, and three. If money is not a huge concern, this one. This one between $50 to $75. This one is 35, so you have three price points to choose from. Okay, I think that's all I have today, and I'm gonna do some more uh, video regarding wallet. I have a few more wallet coming um, for my use and for my wife's use, I don't know. And I'm also gonna try out some cool stuff. I'm gonna keep it a secret for now, but uh, I'm, I'm expecting to get some a uh, wallet from a vendor who want me to review it. So I'm going to review it. I told him I'm not going to give you a five star just for the sake of uh, you giving me stuff. I'm going to give you my honest feedback. 
I'm going to use it for a period of time and see how it goes. Okay. All right. So that's it for today. And that's my uh, wallet I have so far. Hope you enjoy it. Any question, just let me know. Thanks.